Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Al. I go buy Dapper stuff on Poshmark and eBay. Or if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, I went thrifting just for 20 minutes at a Goodwill just to kill time before I started my shift. And I had a $15 coupon and a 25% off coupon. So everything will just say was like $2.99, give or take. So let's get started. First guy, just a pair of little sneakers. You might know who these are based on the textured knit. If you guessed it, Noble, Noble Running, CrossFit shoes. These are $6.99. I sold this same exact pair a couple weeks ago, so I'm curious to see if they'll do the same. And these, with, with Noble, they're unisex sizing. So these are a men's seven, women's eight and a half. So obviously I'll put them in the women's because they sold quicker there with the floral, the floral pattern. And then $6.99 as well. That's one of those brands they don't pick up as much anymore, but with these are kind of being a good basic and kind of quote unquote holiday shoe. Nice suede, black leather slip on mules. And as you can see, they're made well, size eight and a half. Next size, six ninety nine again. These I got for two things. These kind of brought me back to my skateboarding years, middle school years, high school years, if you want to say. These are Supra, but they are collab, like I guess, with the brand Roth with Rothko Camo. Supra Roth Rothko. These are size ten and a half. And comps on this style looks look like very promising. So there's the Super logo, which is the crown, not Peter Millar. I used to get these. I kind of got those mixed up before. And then this is the Rothko, which I think they make like hunting gear and guns. So it's kind of interesting. Next guy, six ninety nine. This I got for myself. I just like this designer. So the brand or designer is Mads Norgard. Copenhagen. I don't know how comps are for this, but I know he's one of those obscure ones that I like to pick up for myself. Next guy, six uh, five ninety nine. This guy's kind of a good, uh, it's a good uh, mid tier designer brand. I want to say Moss, Moss and Hoffman. They kind of sold their stuff is usually sold at like higher end stores. So this is a double XL, but their stuff usually runs kind of smaller. So I would say it fits more true like an extra extra large. So they're known for a lot of color, like basic colors, menswear. They do a lot of stuff, like I said in my other video. They make a lot of like senator stuff as well as like uh, political people's outfits. So it's just 100% Pima Cotton. Next guy. Little just pink lace dress. This was ten dollars originally. It's a nice weight, uh, pink lacy, the frayed dis frayed hem, frayed uh, edges, and a full zip down. And this is Diane von Furstenberg DVF, whatever you want to see. Size two. It's, it's a newer piece because the hologram and has the style name in here. It's the Barbara. Next guy, $5.99. These I just, I do well at buy, sell, trade with. I'll probably just bring it to them. It's just a striped men's t-shirt with the uh, exposed hem in the back or exposed uh, split, whatever they call it. And I think this one is just 100% cotton made in Peru and it's Rag and Bone, New York. $4.99. This I got just because. It's size medium. It's a nice blue color. And it's Lululemon. Size medium. Now I don't know if this is real or not because the logo isn't like textured. So that's kind of why I'm thinking it might not be. Maybe that's why no one picked it up. But it checks out with what I saw online. 
So it's a size medium. Inside just says get outside, get sweaty, time to get dirty. Which I think maybe this might just be an older style, if I'm not mistaken. If not, I might just bring it to a buy sell trade just to see. Sometimes they'll buy them for me, even though they're not real, real, you know what I mean? Next guy, four ninety nine. Again, rag and bone, but this is just a cotton linen blend. It's this nice light green brown color. Next guy, four ninety nine. This I might keep for myself. I just need some. I got this because I needed some Henleys. It's kind of this cream color Henley, and it's Theory. And you know from my other videos, this is kind of one of the newer tags for Theory. Six ninety nine. This I got because of the style, and I saw the logo. So maybe look, grab it was this. I knew exactly what this was. And then see the logo. It is not Zadigan Voltaire, which that would have been better, but this still does really good for me. The brand is ASRV, which I forgot what it actually stands for, but oh, there we go. Aesthetic, Re Aesthetic Revolution. So made in Korea. These are size large, which I think these are men's. Yeah, these are men's. Like I'm, I'm going to call these like a moto jogger. The well, last two things. This I got. I got to do a little more digging on. I might just keep them for myself. I thought these were kind of cool. Kind of like a short length board shirt style. Super clean inside. These were only $5.99. And... They say made in Australia, which kind of made me grab them. The brand is Mocha Salt. So can you imagine trying to look this brand up? I was trying to check comps on eBay. Typing Mocha Salt. Good luck. You're, I got a lot of coffee stuff. A lot of picture frames. A lot of coffee like products. And a lot of cookware. So, I'll have to do digging to see exactly where they're sold at. Maybe that will help me try to figure out what to put it as far as brand. And then last guy, $9.99. This I got because this was a no-brainer. Especially with Wicked coming out right, uh, this weekend. You know people are going to start looking for Glinda again. Barbie core is out. It's probably going to be Glinda, gore, Glinda core and uh, Wicked core. I know I've sold quite a few uh, like witchy things this week and I use that code. That uh, those style tags. I use Glinda, Alphaba, Wicked, Wizard of Oz, uh, Witchy, and um, Oz, and they sold really quick. So this is nice white, a uh, white, nice pink pleated dress, kind of like a midi length dress, and this is a really good brand of bolo. So it's, I don't know if it's Iena or Gina, but it's Iena for MacDougall. You know, MacDougall is a really high-end dress brand. I have sold flawed dresses from them for great money. So this one is like really great shape and it's a larger size. So we shall see how this guy does. So that is everything I picked up this time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you later. Bye.